At Tesla's AI Day event, Elon Musk revealed that Tesla had begun working on a project beyond self-driving cars, a humanoid robot called the Tesla Bot. Initially, Elon Musk had the robot eerily walk up on stage but then begin dancing as Elon Musk completely trolled his audience. However, when all said and done, Elon is serious about creating a robot, the Tesla Bot, codenamed Optimus Subprime. Tesla has developed advanced expertise in both automation and in machine learning software. It does make sense as a logical next step that they would put their vision software in a bipedal robot. Now, while this part of the presentation was partially a joke, a robot seems sensible for countless applications and is definitely on Tesla's long-term roadmap. However, the purpose of unveiling the Tesla bot at AI Day was mainly to draw attention from engineers all around the world to come work on exciting projects at Tesla. This type of robot may never come to fruition in the form factor that we saw at the event. It may look different than the Westworld-esque version that they showcased. There may be new design iterations. There could be robots of different sizes and functions in the future coming from Tesla. But really, this generates a ton of excitement for engineers who want to work on cutting edge technology at the intersection of robotics and machine learning software. And you can tell very quickly that it piqued the interest of many people. First off, it's the only thing that the media has been talking about from AI Day, probably the only thing that they understood. And even half of the questions from the live audience at the event were related to the Tesla bot. Tesla needs to solve self-driving first, but they can still entice engineers with future projects and build up a huge talent base of expertise. Elon Musk says the prototype will only come out next year. So they're not even at the prototyping phase yet, which is the easy part according to Elon, compared to mass production. The factory producing Tesla bots will be the true product in the end. Now I think that ultimately, Elon Musk wants to build robots that are indistinguishable from humans, and perhaps maybe one day Tesla will build Tesla World inspired by Westworld, which may be pretty scary for some people and exciting to others. That might still be a long way off. I personally think that Star Wars droids would be cool to have. I think a C-3PO is more familiar to people, and if they're trying to build something friendly, it might be a good idea to call up Disney and start there. And by the way, Disney apparently does hold the trademark for the word droid, so calling up Disney might not be a bad idea. Tesla droid has a nice ring to it. At the same time, Tesla doesn't have enough resources at this time to work on many different types of robots, so by picking one with human hands that looks like a human, it already unlocks infinite use cases. So let's take this seriously as Elon Musk is and look at the advantages that Tesla has and some ideas of where they can take the Tesla bot. And by the way, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance and check out our website themarketisopen.com where we have instant stock quotes and financial data going back 10 years and it's all freely available. Now Tesla does have a ton of driving data. They were able to achieve this by first selling regular electric cars to people. These cars were equipped with cameras and other sensors which collected the data from humans driving, and then Tesla was able to begin teaching the car how to drive. For robots, Tesla doesn't have any video data of inside people's homes or workplace buildings, or really of anything that's not on a road. See, with cars, humans are still in control and give rapid feedback when the car makes a mistake, or they're basically training the car with each drive and with the car watching in shadow mode. But it doesn't make much sense for Tesla to sell a robot for home or business unless it does something right out of the box. And since at least with today's AI technology, as a starting point, having data is critical. So it would be interesting if Tesla in the interim sold a Roomba or a butter passing robot first that was both useful and could start collecting data from the locations a car has never seen and are outside Tesla's data set. The Tesla bot is supposed to be 125 pounds and can move at a max speed of five miles per hour. Elon Musk says you should be able to run away from it and overpower it if needed. I mean, Tesla does like to make the production version of its products better than the prototype. It's supposed to be friendly, but hopefully nobody modifies it. Tesla intends to use lightweight materials, a screen for useful info. It still looks like it's fairly fresh out of a brainstorming session though. We don't really have any details on how big the battery is going to be in terms of weight or kilowatt hours, but you can guess it will probably use Tesla's efficient 4680 batteries or whatever comes after that, which will probably beat out any other fuel-powered robots. Tesla will use the full self-driving chip as essentially the brain of the robot and train it with their super-powerful Dojo training computer. 
They really do have all the parts and expertise at the company to build this and integrate it with their other products. If the Tesla bot could just plug itself in anywhere, even at a supercharger station, they can run 24-7. Perhaps Tesla will even acquire SpaceX and Skynet at some point, I mean Starlink, to improve the experience. But actually in the future, if Neuralink eventually gets to copying the brain into a digital medium, like a hard drive, it can be transferred into the body of a Tesla bot. So I'm sure Elon is thinking about this and trying to figure out what's needed to have an exciting future such as this. The initial purpose of the robot, at least for starters, is to do dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. It will have human-like hands, which would make it just as useful as a human. Elon Musk says you'll be able to talk to it, say pick up a bolt and attach it to that car with that wrench, or please go to the store and get groceries. It's sort of like an Amazon Echo, but it can actually do stuff. Someone from the live audience at the event asked if these would be used in the factories, and Elon basically said that the factories are already fully automated, which as a side note draws some excitement towards Giga Berlin and Giga Texas. I think the robot will start with menial tasks, but then become far more advanced. There's plenty of use cases for services like bars, restaurants, or healthcare, etc. But for Tesla specifically, this could also be useful in service centers. Tesla is also getting into the mining business, which is generally dangerous. Planet exploration like Mars works as well. One great application is in construction, where some situations can be pretty dangerous. It would be pretty cool if Tesla bots can come together to build a factory on Mars even, or other planets, and prepare the planet for when humans get there, since they can work in areas with no oxygen, for instance, or just work together with humans to increase productivity. During the presentation, Elon Musk asks himself, is there a limit to the economy, and answers, maybe not. So if robots and AI are the next growth phase of the economy, then that's very exciting. Elon sees extremely high potential to improve productivity. And if you look at the economy as not limited to Earth, then it's basically limitless. A robot definitely frees up time for humans, just like full self-driving cars do, and it will eventually increase productivity in an environmentally sustainable way. Elon Musk is basically trying to make the future as exciting as possible and bringing things from the sci-fi world into real life which may have always been the real mission for Tesla as it mirrors Elon's view of the world. Now the Tesla bot finally offers some real competition for this popular automaker, which is Hyundai, the recently new owner of Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics is the maker of various robots and the company itself has had multiple owners in the past, including Google, SoftBank, and now Hyundai. The humanoid robot called Atlas has seen quite a bit of improvement over the years in terms of accuracy and capability. Boston Dynamics typically showcases videos of the robots doing backflips and obstacle courses. The Atlas robot is 4 foot 9 and weighs about 176 to 195 pounds. Tesla bot is about a foot taller but 50 to 70 pounds lighter. The Boston Dynamics Atlas robot, at least in 2015, had a 3.7 kilowatt hour battery that lasted about an hour. The battery itself might weigh about 50 pounds. It's perhaps improved since. But if Tesla can make the structure fairly light, use their efficient motors, and cut battery weight down using higher density batteries, like their high nickel 4680 cells, they can perhaps start getting a few hours of usage. It's about time though that Boston Dynamics had some real competition for this product. Even though Tesla isn't focusing on it right now, one interesting benefit is the amount of excitement around robots. Boston Dynamics has gotten tens of millions of views from its robot dancing videos, and so it might be underestimated how much more free marketing Tesla can get with Tesla bot videos. It's certainly changing the perception of Tesla from a car company to a robotics company, which currently is important for hiring talent in that area. Now, one of the reasons why I like Tesla so much is that they're pushing the boundaries of technology and expanding new industries that didn't exist before. It's very difficult for analysts and investors to value completely new markets because there's no analogy for it. So let me give you an analogy of my own, which is that 10 years ago when I bought Apple stock, there was no Apple Watch, there were no AirPods, there was a very small services business, and everyone was constantly worried about what if the iPhone falters, since it was 70% or more of Apple's business. And for some reason, no one expected new product launches. The analysts can forecast something that doesn't exist into their financial models. And so today, iPhone is still high at about 50% of Apple's business, 
and it has grown dramatically. But adjacent products and their services business, which has extremely high margins, now make Apple an unthinkable at the time $2.4 trillion company. Now, I think Tesla is better than Apple. They're certainly more innovative and there's more opportunity everywhere they look. And because they move faster, Tesla is actually able to bring products into the real world sooner than people think. And so the takeaway is that in 10 years from now, Tesla may have reached its automotive goals, maybe battery goals as well, as I mentioned in the last Megapack video, but why stop there? And it's those products like the Tesla bot that don't exist today and are viewed as jokes or maybe they're impossible that become massive businesses down the line and give companies like Tesla a 10 year lead in 10 years from now. So what do you think about the Tesla bot? What applications do you think would make it useful for yourself or for the industry? And what other products do you think Tesla can come out with that will drive new opportunities for growth in the next decade to come? Please be sure to check out my last video on Tesla's battery business where I outline a very compelling case for the Mega Pack. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.